Hello and welcome to yet another dimension. I am Jeremy. And I'm Terry. And this is the February 2022 pickups. Boom. Boom. And uh, uh, once again, I didn't get that much, but I'm sure you got a lot. I didn't get a lot of games. What? Oh, you didn't get a lot of games? Okay. But I do, this is, my tote that I always put myself in weighs mm-hmm. about, I, I, I bet probably over 100 pounds. Easy. All right. You got what? You got a CRT in there? What? I mean, that'd be like two, two, uh, two ton. Never mind. I got a, I got an iron statue of uh, Jill naked, kissing two B. The best. Oh, okay, even better. <laughs> the best pickups video. So let's get started. I'm gonna go, and then he's gonna show all his stuff because I only got a little bit. Uh, first, you only got a little bit. They know that. They, they know that's not true. Uh, but. Let's show what he got me first. This guy's always giving. Uh, I'm a giver. Yes. I gave you something. Yeah, I gave yeah. you a little bit of something, something. First, Game Informers from the late 2000s. We got God of War 3. Oh, with a Mad World. That's actually pretty sweet. I didn't notice that. Yeah, that's cool. God of War 3. <clears throat> great game for the PS3. Also, a Singularity. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, that came out on the PS3, Xbox 360. It probably wasn't underrated. Good. It probably wasn't good enough to be on the cover of a magazine. It was. I beat it. It was like a bootleg, Bioshock. Oh, okay. not nothing special at all. Uh, oh, uh, Star Wars: The Force Unleashed. Pretty good game. I'm not the biggest <clears throat> fan of Star Wars. There's a booty ass game on the back of that. Lost Planet. A oh, Lost Planet. Yeah. A Capcom game that nobody cares. That was about. Capcom. Yeah, Capcom made that first party. See, I. Back then, they, they started to make more Western-style games oh. instead of, like, what Japanese, and they just quickly failed at that. And the last one, you might, this is Borderlands. I, this is before they had the cell-shaded, cartoony look. It's an interesting uh, look to it. It says Diablo meets Mad Max. Pretty good. That's cool. They, they should have threw something about being first-person in that, too. Yeah. Diablo meets Mad Max in first-person. would have been dope. Groundbreaking. Oh, it does. Yeah, first-person shooter. <clears throat> But uh, I haven't looked at these yet much, but I love magazines, and I know this guy. I got these from Chad. Does this have his name on it? It does. Oh. <laughs> That's don't, funny. What is the same address? Yeah. No, he don't live there no more. All right. So, don't go to that address. It's not there anymore. Um, one more thing he, he got me just today, a PlayStation 2 demo disc with, I don't know, does anybody know what this is? I just got it a second ago. It looks like a, a rhythm game. I don't know. Is it Guitar Hero? This early? I don't know if it's Guitar Hero. This came out 2003. This is a 2003 uh, uh, demo disc, but what? it looks interesting. Yeah, so I don't know if that's the real art or whatever. That was just that disc replay like that. Final Fantasy, what is that, 11? No, 9. Yeah. It's only a dollar, so I know you like demos and shit. But yeah, I love demos. I love just collecting random shit like yeah. that. I think I'm collecting too much. I don't know where to put it. Uh, but, all right, let's... Get into new stuff. So I went to a convention this uh, month, Ohio Con in Columbus, and uh, I got this first. I got this shirt. It's like a cute anime girl with uh, shoes, cool shoes. I like it. I like the color of it. It's a nice shirt, too. I should have went. I didn't know about it, though. I was off that weekend, too. Hey, man. Maybe next time. Yeah. Next dimension. I've never done I've never done a uh, con, so I want to start bringing. I mean, they have than, the uh, Yoma con. Yeah, but it's always on Halloween. Oh yeah, you don't want, you ain't gonna do that. <laughs> so next, uh, the other thing I got at the um, Ohio con, I got a Ryu amiibo. This is the only my second amiibo that I own. It was only five dollars. I was like, I might as well get it. So I just picked it up, and it's funny. Uh, I only own three. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't really, I don't like getting to the uh, Amiibo f- uh, craze because they get super expensive. I don't like that. I own Cloud, the alternate Cloud, Player 2 also, and I own uh, Hero from Dragon Quest Eleven. <laughs> you have no Nintendo characters? Or no, something? if they, if they make a Sephiroth, I'll buy that too. Okay, Sephiroth, yeah. Oh yeah, they haven't made oh, that yet? And a Sora. If they make a Sora, I'll buy that too. Oh, they're definitely making a Sora. I'm surprised they haven't yet. Hmm. I don't think so, no. Um, But right, uh, <clears throat> Ryu... Uh, they just announced Street Fighter 6, so it's like perfect timing for it. He looks like a fucking brick house. Uh, he's like as wide as his fucking table. Yeah. Check it out. But uh, yeah, this is my only my second Amiibo. Amiibo. What, what's your other one? Luigi, man. Luigi. Gotta have Luigi. I, but I want Bayonetta too and, you know, Cloud as well. That'd be cool. So, <clears throat> I got... 
three games. I know what one of them is. I mean, you know two of them, actually, because I showed you that one time. Oh. I didn't sell it. I just kept it. You'll see. Okay. Let me show that first, then. Okay. I so I got that. three games. One game he'll be surprised by, but this game he already knew because he was in the store with me when I got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sleep Dull Enforcers 1 and 2. It was a old I mean, oh, Konami game. Well, you got it for a steal. Oh, yeah, because it goes for like 60 70 and it was like $30, I think, 35 Yeah. But I played a little bit of it. It has like uh, photorealistic <clears throat> characters. Like It's a light gun game. You shoot them. I wanted to play it, but you need the Justifier... The Konami, like, proprietary uh, light gun game. I mean, light gun, a shooter, unfortunately. <laughs> but And I need a CRT, but I was going to bring it over here. But we need two of those, and that's, like, almost $100 each. Ooh. So I don't know if... Yeah, we, we might get them at this replay eventually, and they might yeah. underprice them. Hopefully. So, But I, I do want to play it. I like light, light gun games a lot, especially just straight up shooting, like, in the arcade. I, use, I missed that. Yeah. You know, that. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, this is pretty fun. It was nothing crazy. I like other ones more, but it's cool to have. So I, I'll, I'll probably just keep it. I got a light gun game. Oh, that was last month. I got Area 51. Yeah, it's it's similar <laughs> to Area 51. They use the same type of graphics. Yeah. Like Mortal Kombat. And like Crypt Killer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like this? Talking about this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's made by Konami as well. It's a promotion for it. But, I mean, it's cool to have. Um, You want to talk about the game you already know or the surprise for last? Is your other game Horizon? No. Then uh, just let's talk about the one that everybody already knows. Game? Everyone who knows you know you were buying this game. The game I've been looking forward to. And you didn't buy it at Best Buy. And I didn't Slacker. buy it at Best Buy. <laughs> so I can already see the case. <laughs> I didn't buy it at Best Buy. Well, that's you, man. I don't, I don't love still books like you. It's Elden Ring. Already pro like named the best game of all time by everybody. I don't know about that. I mean, I love Souls games so much, and I'm enjoying it so <clears> far, but the open world design, not the biggest fan of it. I mean, I always talk about it. I'm not the biggest fan of open world games, but I like it yeah. uh, so far. Uh, we'll talk about that more yeah, later. We're going to have a separate video yeah. on our first impressions. Yeah, so I got that. Just got it yesterday, and I'm stuck on the bus, um, but of course. unfortunately. Uh, but one last game. Uh, this is... Definitely up your alley. Oh. So you'd be hopefully surprised. What system it. is it? It's PS1. Oh, PS1. Mm hmm. PS1. What I'm, game? Can you guess? I'm going to take a guess and say it's like maybe Wild Arms. That is so fucking. That is so close. Legend of Dragoon. Oh, oh hell yeah. Complete. You got the black label too? Yep. So I had a black label, but my greatest hits copy is like pristine. Mm -hmm. And the black label I got. This this were kind of scratched, so yeah. I sold it. Yeah, that I mean, this I looks, think this, this it might be a little really bit scratched. Nice. Yeah, I bet this one has scratches. I mm -hmm. bet you, I bet you any money, this four has probably never been played. Probably, because I'm playing. Oh no, it's got scratches. I then it's been God, played. It's uh, fucking the fucking artwork. Yeah, like, shit, I, I was bro. looking at the manual uh, earlier. I was like, damn, look at the full color manual. They put a lot of work into it. So, this game... This is supposed to be like an FF7 killer, right? Yes, yeah. It, it, but it took so long to come out. It came out late... When the PS2 ni was out, right? Yeah, it came out late 99 <laughs> in Japan, but eventually it came out like in 2000, right before the PS2 came out. I right think, before. I think I read something that Americans liked this more than the Japanese did. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it did better yeah. over here. I mean, it, I mean, it's a turn-based RPG. It looks sweet. I mean, it, I can see all the money they put into it. It's <laughs> it's a uh, first-party Sony developed... Uh, yep. Sony, uh, Japan do, Studio. They don't do that it. no more. Yeah, I, I'm see. Yeah, Sony games. They're kind of like the same. Unfortunately, I'm I'm missing like the old like they are. They took chances. They have made Japanese games. So that, like kinda, what, I guess something similar to Elden Ring. I think we kind of say shit like this all the time. Like I hate that video games are popular now because companies do not take chances anymore. No, they need the, the safest. Yeah, whatever they know is gonna make them yes. money. Like look at all look at SquareSoft on the PS One. Einhander. You know what I'm saying? That's like, like a sh that's, shooter from a, a RPG company mostly. Yeah, it's an arcade shoot 'em up from yeah. a fucking RPG and company good. and just everything, bro. Even Resident Evil 1 was a risk. Silent Hill oh, was yeah. a risk. Uh -huh. Like everything was a risk. And now <clears throat> they're the most popular franchise. It's, uh, Resident Evil, Silent Hill, yep. fucking everything. Uh, I mean, Final Fantasy, come yep. on, man. 
But yeah, I, that's a discussion for another video. Yeah. We I I love talking about that, but I agree with you. And Sony does was the last first party really JRPG <clears throat> they made. Yeah. I can't even think of one. Um, they usually do like uh, second party stuff, but that's all I have. Yeah. Uh, I I was gonna get Galarian's uh, as a survival horror game. The PS One. Yeah, but they didn't have mm. all the disc. I, I got that disc replay for forty five. So. That's the three games I got, magazines, That's and wild. Amiibo. That's, that's a slow month for you. Oh, yeah. I spent a lot at that fucking con, so I was like, I'm going to chill out this month. Yeah. And I got my game, man. I'm, I'm good. I'm all good, man. So you take it over. Okay. Don't look it's over all here. You. It's all you, man. All right. It's all you. <clears throat> so I'm we're going to sit back, relax. We're going to start it out with, I got this black see-through controller from our buddy Eric. He gave me the red one last month. I already, I already have, have that, so I'm not mad. I already had this from when I was a kid, the black VMU. Okay, cool. That's sweet. And then uh, I also got this Rumble Pack for $2 at Dish Replay. Mm -hmm. I never had a Rumble Pack for a Dreamcast controller, so I, $2, I mean. I should have brought my Dreamcast Yeah. so we could play all the games again. That was fun. Yeah. And then I got this blue VMU. It was nice. only 2 or 3 bucks as well, cheap. Mm -hmm. And then I got a black oh shit PS1 controller, the non dual shock. Uh, those, those are always like three dollars at this replay, so yeah. it's cheap. When you start collecting controllers, man, what's don't, going on? Don't worry about me, bro. I hate you, man. You're taking all the controllers. I what got, the fuck? I got the smoke black That's PS2 so sweet. controller. <laughs> Let me see. Damn, where'd you get this? Uh, one of my buddies online that sells stuff. I don't I've, think I have this one. I Ooh. bought from him a bunch of times. I think I have like, I didn't know they had this. I forgot they had this. Oh, God. Oh, God. And then I got not one, but two of the, what is it, green? <laughs> See-through green? Yeah, it's mint green, I don't know. I just got, I, I, I got one of them from that same guy I got the smoke black from. And then the other one I got in that Sega bundle I showed you that I got. Oh, yeah. So... Uh, you were looking for this one too, right? You was about to get it that one time. Yeah. And you got two. Yeah. Just how it happens. So this next thing is from my buddy Chad again. Oh, Chad. What's you up, know, man? That's, you that's trying where to get the MVP? From. Yeah. Was... MVP for second? Not MVP this okay. time, but his second runner up for sure. Rough. But this month, he gave me a Game Boy Color. <laughs> I... Bro, let me. See. That's. And. <laughs> what do you got in there? It looks like Final Fantasy. And I bought Final Fantasy Adventure. Nice. <laughs> What do you think of Final Fantasy Adventure? Uh, I've, I've never played the original, but I have played Sword of Mana, which is a remake, and I beat Adventures of Mana, which is another remake of it. Bro, I need this back. I don't have this back, and this is my... I had this color. Uh, I have a childhood memories of this because I had this color, and I need that back. I lost mine. I got one more Game Boy game, and it's Pokemon Pinball. Po Pokemon Pinball? What? I swear we were just talking about this. I seen... I that the... Uh, I liked it a lot as a kid. I don't really collect for mobile that month mm -hmm. much, but I, I got all these Game Boys, and I like to keep something in them. And I seen the, the price of this was going up, and it's got a rumble feature. Oh, that's, and, is that why it's like that? Yeah, you can't get that on an EverDrive. <laughs> so I it, like I got it for 8 bucks. It's worth like 20 now. Man, look at this. They have the, the inside on the bed. You know, do you have that? No, they, I didn't even know they, this was a thing. They have one more for 10 bucks at Taylor Disc Replay. I got to get one. Cause I, it's just cool Clark's item. Cause you need a battery for the Rumble. Yeah, I got this Nintendo Switch case. I always go through their cases mm -hmm. uh, because you never know what you're gonna get. It's three bucks for this. I think I have the same case. Yeah. Got a Game Boy Advance one, three oh, yeah. bucks. Also for three bucks, I got a Vita one. Nice. All these cases. Yeah. So you can protect your games. Oh yeah. Well, systems. So these are from Chad. Chad. I got. Mario Galaxy stockings. What? Yeah. Where do you what? Where do you get this from, Chad? Where do you, uh, you GameStop. know? That's fucking sweet. Oh. Okay, we're gonna talk. I want one of these. <laughs> I want one of these, man. I'm that gonna, is so cool. I got that Mario tree, that, so I'm gonna hang them on like by that tree. Mm -hmm. That around tree fitty. Yeah, that tree fitty. Tree fitty. <laughs> Hi, you should give this to me for tree fitty. How about that? <laughs> that's fucking sweet. Yeah, these are these are cool. That is. That is so cool. See, like, that's stuff you can't get anywhere. Not from GameStop. Yeah. But while we're on the, the topic of GameStop stuff, I got two more things from Chad that were from GameStop as well. The first one is this Shinra, 
like PSP case thing that holds. It's made for Crisis Core, but it's it's a little plastic thing that's got the Shinra logo on it. Oh, I, don't know. I bet you love this. Oh yeah, that is so cool. I need to glue it back down. Yeah, that is so. See, that's like one of a kind stuff. Mm. And the next, the other thing he gave me is uh, up your alley. Oh shit! It better not be no fucking Resident Evil shit. It's not, but it, it's a Konami game. Okay, go ahead. So, I don't know from which game, but Castlevania Dracula X Chronicles. Oh. <laughs> it's a little box. Uh, who that's... the hell? I think it's a pixel guy. <laughs> I think that's... Uh... Oh, I forgot his name. He's in Smash. Okay, well, I forgot his name. I'm not Trevor Belmont, sure. Richter it's, Belmont. Yeah, it's, I think it's Richter. It looks like Richter. Okay. But that's cool, though. Yeah. I like that. I like that game is really good. Dracula X. Yeah. Oh yeah, to go with the Game Boy Color, he, he gave me this little uh, all these accessories, power adapter thing that works on a Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Color, or a regular Game Boy. What the fuck? I didn't even know this stuff existed. What, what it looks is... like an old RC car charger, yeah. don't it? Yeah, it looks cool. <laughs> the fucking power unit is yeah. cool, man. It's the power brick. <laughs> I got sweater. An eye toy. Eye toy, yeah. I never really had an eye toy. I, I never really used it. I never did either, but our buddy Joe at Ditch Replay was like, hey, I got an eye toy for $3. I'm like, fuck it, $3. Yeah. So. That $3 really adds up when you spend it like every day. Though. PS1 <laughs> multi-tap. I got the PS2 multi-tap last month, but seen this for 5 bucks. What games do we use the multi-tap for? I don't think I've ever really used it. I don't know. Yeah. Probably sports games. I want to use it at least once. Yeah. Uh, this holds a GameCube memory card, I believe. What? Is GameCube? Oh, it's a Mad Cats. <laughs> yeah. And I got a PS1 and a N64 uh, memory cards. All oh, three yeah. of these things are from Chad. I think I have that. Uh, yeah, I have the same memory card for the I have a, N64. I have so many memory cards for every system now. It's, 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 scary. it's ridiculous. Stuff. Yeah. And I think that might be it for random shit. I, or you sure? I can move on to magazines and strategy guides. All right, let's do it. So we're gonna have to clear off the table. So All right, just, uh, I'm gonna snap, it. and the table's gonna be clear. And we're back. Told you, snap, and the table was clear. Well, that side. Yeah. <laughs> and I, in my box, I found another controller. I forgot to bring up that I got for my buddy Todd at Video Game Graveyard. I got the silver one for PS2. I love the silver. I've been using this one. That's why I forgot. Actually, mm -hmm. it actually, oh, was, yeah, it yeah. actually wasn't in my box. I picked it up off the floor. Okay. So you, I mean, hey, you're using it. Yeah. You're actually using what you're buying, so that's, yeah. that's a new thing. All right, so do you want to see strategy guides or magazines first? Strategy guides first. Strategy guides. Mm -hmm. The first thing I'm going to show you, it's, I have it in the strategy guide pile, but it's not a strategy guide. Mm -hmm. It's this Persona 4 visual data art book. Persona 4, yeah, Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4 visual data. Got this from Chad. Hopefully I open it up to a cool page. But fuck you, man. I know you want to see that. I hate you. Why do you have this and I don't? <laughs> I fuck. It's pretty good condition too. Thank you, Chad. Chad. You the homie. You the homie, bro. I love this game. This is one of my favorite RPGs. Look at look at this. I man. considered giving that to you until I looked through it. <sighs> Keep that one out by you, because I don't want to put that well, at the bottom yeah, of the oh, pile. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, we're keeping it by me. Or, oh, oh hey, let's go. We'll talk. We'll talk. So We'll talk behind, afterwards. I, got I don't the, even want to see this shit anymore, man. I'm I got bad. this Final Fantasy XII uh, hardcover oh, yeah, strategy guide. You showed me this? Nope. I swear I, I got this, this at Reboot. I mm -hmm. ran into Ryan there, actually. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. That's dope, man. Yeah. It's, uh, Fucking... Hardcover shit's cool. Yeah. You don't see it at that often. You said 12? Yeah. Yep. Damn. That yeah. is cool, man. I got a hardcover of Dissidia. This one was only 10 bucks. Dissidia? Is that the fight-in one? It's the shitty PS4 one, but for 10 bucks, a Final Fantasy hardcover fucking book. Oh, it's, that was wrong. But, you know. It's like a um, sword dick? Yeah. Can't beat it. <laughs> That's like the first thing I thought of. <laughs> I got... I thought of a sword dick. Star Ocean till the end of time. Oh, nice! And you just uh, in that magazine I gave it back to you. Star Ocean, had, yeah, yeah, that's cool. So, it doesn't have three on it though. Didn't they have three in the magazine? It also said Enix's answer to Final Fantasy, and <laughs> it came out as Square Enix on that mag. I'll show you when I pull the magazine out. That's 
I love it. They just... Yeah. <laughs> they're like the sworn enemy, and now they're like sucking each other's dicks. I oh, love yeah. it. Let's keep the square soft train rolling. Okay. Saga Frontier 2. Oh, that's an old school one. Let's yeah. go. Got Let's this. go. I think it's worth like 50 or 60 bucks. I got a deal it on it. It looks nice, though. It's... it's I mean, decent. I mean, like I'm talking about like the art. Oh yeah, yeah. The yeah. Art's sweet. I know it's like beat up. I don't, I don't know. I My, don't really care if it's beat up. The next one I'm about to show is way more beat up. Hey, that adds to charm because I mean it's an old yeah. school magazine. I don't care. I mean, uh, strategy guide. Final Ooh. Fantasy Tactics Advance. Oh, that's Look, your... It looks like the. It looks like they taped the. Uh, oh man, what are they, how the, did this? How do you do that to your shit? On. How do you fuck it up so but much? Everything else is fine. But yeah. Oh, let me see. Oh. Show that. Show that. Look at that. Oh, look at fuck, man. Look at that. Hopefully look you can that. see it. We'll we'll do a uh, close ups. Yeah. Some stuff. But I love FF Tactics. Damn. I like uh what's his name? Yasuhiko. Yasuhiko. Uh, yes. We'll put the name right. I can't there. remember. We'll look we'll put it up. I can't remember his uh his name, but the artist that does Final Fantasy That's Tactics. Dope. And I also got Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2. <laughs> you got all the Final Fantasy Tactics. Well, I bought that one. It was like 10 bucks on uh -huh. eBay. Yeah. Because it was beat up. I didn't care. And this one, I just... It was at this Replay oh. in Livonia. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's yep. my, my store. Okay. Yep. I haven't been there in And many. again, it was cheap. I only paid 15 for it. Mm -hmm. And now I have every Final Fantasy Tactics game complete in box. And now I have the strategy guide for all three of them. I don't know if they specifically made a War of the Lions... PSP strategy guide, they may have. They probably did. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll get and that if it's not it. if it's not like a hundred bucks or something. Mm -hmm. I'll get it. This is what you call OCD. He needs every single subset of every. It's called ADHD OCD. Okay, it's a combination. The, it's combination. Oh fuck, he's like, it's like a superpower, man. <laughs> I love it. You this need... is from Chad. FF8. Oh, guide. you got the fucking. Man, this oh, I hate you now. I'm, and now I gotta get some more strategy guys. I love strategy guys. Look at that. That's so oh. fucking sweet. And they got the Cheerios. What is that? The Frosted Cheerios. <laughs> that, that shit was nice. I fucking this shit's good, man. Yeah. I but, love the old uh, ads too. This next strategy guide, they had it's it's so I got it just to complete the collection. Final Fantasy Nine. It was of again course. ten bucks. Of course. But, but it has this bullshit. Uh, Enhanced by play online. Wait, what is, what is that? So it didn't tell you everything you needed to know in the book. You'd have to go to the website and see. So, oh, okay. Like, feel this. Oh. And then feel this. Oh, damn, yeah. See how much thicker the FF8 yeah. one is? Look at that. Oh, they cheaped out on that. Yeah. I guess they're just trying to, you know, get you to the, on the uh, website, I guess. Yeah. It's, but this boy is nice. It's bullshit. So, again, oh, so... I got more strategy guides from Chad. The The only one I've showed from Chad so far is this FF8 one. He kept that one for me because he knows that I like Final Fantasy. But when I came, I helped him move, right? He had a pile of garbage in his front yard. I'm like, hey, what are you doing with all these strategy guides and gaming magazines? He's like, oh, I'm just tossing them out. I'm like, can I have them? Oh. <laughs> so those magazines I gave you were in it. Yeah. Uh, the FFA and some more strategy guys. You're gonna be mad at some of these strategy guys that were in the garbage. You're gonna be kind of mad at a couple of them. Chad, what are you doing, man? But come on. Thirteen FF thirteen is next. This man, boy's I'm thick. That boy thick. It's almost as thick as I guess lightning's not that she thick. Not, yeah. But she's thick headed. I'll probably you. I'll eventually get to thirteen, and I'll mm -hmm. probably just keep this next to me and use it while I play. Yeah, but so have you played a little? This. Oh shit! I Boy, never really gave thirteen a chance big. because of how like people get badly reviewed it. Yeah, but there ain't no way it can be that bad because they did the same thing with fifteen, and I fucking loved fifteen. I think you'll like it then. It's it's not exactly it's not the same as fifteen, but yeah. I mean, it's Final Fantasy. It has quality to it. I just I I just didn't really get into it. Yeah, so I played I, a little bit of it. I like the I, I like linear Final Fantasy games. Sue me, I like it. So it's I like more any kind of Final Fantasy game. Mm -hmm. So except for eight. Fi yeah, except for eight. <laughs> Finally, we're moving off the stuff that's not Square Enix. This oh, is, is from, that is that possible? This is from Chad. This was in the garbage. <laughs> Pokemon Diamond and Pearl strategy Ooh. guide. <laughs> okay, all right. I know that's a lot of that's, that's a lot of money. Eventually, one day. Yeah, everything Pokemon. Yeah. Is. <laughs> 
Chad, you he's literally throwing away money. He's like, here, take my money, throw it away. But well, like you I know, said, some people I, don't know. They I, don't. He probably doesn't care. He didn't really care that much. And yeah. plus, I helped him move, so he don't care to give. That's you yeah. know what I'm saying. People don't care. Keep the Pokemon train going. Oh. A Pokedex. Oh, damn. What, uh, it, what? it came out with Pokemon Diamond and Pearl because it has it on the front. Nice. So it says it has all 482 plus 8 Pokemon and Post Story and Post Story Guide. Damn. So, oh. Let's put it. Uh, he never used the stickers in it either. Nice. Now he got the stickers. Yeah. And I think this is the last Pokemon thing. Yep. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Never played a Mystery Dungeon game. Me neither. Don't know what it is. Big fan of Pokemon, I see. Yeah. I wonder if he did he play. Does he still play the new games? I don't think so. No. He's he's a PC gamer mostly now. He I, oh. I don't think he's touched a console in a while. Wow. But next, oh, this no. is one of the ones I, I think he might be kind of mad. I hate when he rolls. Like I said, pants. I found all three of these in the garbage along with this next one, oh my and God. it is. You're gonna have to give this to me if I think the I'm Resident Evil be. Four oh. Wii Edition Strategy Guide. Look at that boy. Oh. Bro, this is thicker than all Damn. of them. Damn. This is thicker than I, every Final Fantasy guy. She ain't gonna be that thick. She ain't have to be that thick. Why? Damn. Why? Yeah. Oh, fuck you, man. Look at this. Oh, it has a poster. I don't care about that, but... What poster was it? For the, the Resident back. Evil movie. Oh. Fuck that movie. Uh, damn. Yeah, it's thick as fuck. Woo! Speaking of that. Mm. Hey, baby. I wouldn't say thick for Ada either. But bro. no, just... She, I just want <laughs> something... Uh, that. But uh, I like how the pictures in this mag in this guide look way better than in game. Yeah, it <laughs> the does. pictures in here look like the HD remasters. Yeah, kind of <laughs> lying to you, but this is a nice strategy guide. Yeah, this is nice. Damn. So th I think the rest of these guides I were all in Chad's garbage. I just I just can't throw away shit like that. I don't even care if it has oh, no meaning. Oh, or... you mean like Zelda the Phantom Hourglass? <laughs> Holy shit, look at this art. Damn. It's got, like, glitter on the front, too. This is dope. All right, man, we're going to talk. <laughs> we're going to talk. We're going to talk, man. I, know, I, I love strategy, guys. Oh, oh it's got a poster. Oh, it has a map? Oh, it has a poster? Fuck you, man. Look at that. A map or a poster or something? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> man, people, I, it's just surprising what people don't care about. I don't care about this stuff way too much. So the re Damn. the rest of these guides are nothing spectacular. Hey, was it free? Yeah, they were on Chad's garbage. Man, that's spectacular. Yeah. That free 99 shit. Oh, not saying the games are bad. Yeah, it's not like this, though. Look at that. No. That's yeah, so that's pretty. That's a fancy one. That's one of the nicest covers. Um, what system was Phantom Hourglass on? That was a mobile one, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, for the game, oh, was the Game Boy Advance? I think so, right? Game Boy Advance or D DS? I can't remember. Yeah. Right. I think well, one of them were, was made by uh, Capcom. Was, yeah, yeah, uh, that one. was Minish Cap. Yeah, that one. All right, so the next one is Fear. Okay. First Fear. Yeah, I I love how like some games don't, don't really need a strategy guy. That's definitely one that you don't really need a strategy guy for. Same company. Uh, but uh, Fear is one of the best. I think same company, right? Condemned Two. Yeah. So, them, yep. there's another one. Uh, you'll like this one. The first Mass Effect. Oh. Oh, baby. <clears throat> you get some good ones. I'll, you get all the games I like. <laughs> so, this next one doesn't need a strategy guide. It's the orange box. Nice. Oh, but, <laughs> orange box. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Alright, it's, it's getting a little high. Oh, no. We can still see each other. I got two more strategy guides. Uh, World of Warcraft Burning Crusade. Eh, I never played a... I never really played it before. That's, that's my uh, my favorite expansion for a while. But I only played the first two or three, mm. so that's the first expansion. And Unreal Tournament 3. I oh, like yeah. Unreal Tournament. Yeah. So, Strategy guide. For yeah. What, though? I, I don't know. I, I mean, there's kind of a story mode on it. Oh, it is a story mode? Okay. Yeah. What's that? Oh! <laughs> I've never, Fuck. I've never seen this artwork Damn. before. It's that tactics. Final Fantasy Tactics PlayStation Magazine. Where'd you get that online? eBay, Fuck. and it was cheap because How much was it? Of, uh, ten bucks because of the water damage on the bottom. Oh, I don't even know this. Oh. The bottom, a couple of the bottom of the pages are a little messed up, but oh. got the but evil. it even came with the demo. It did. Yep. And they just wow, it has. Bloody War, Monster Rancher, um, Saga Frontier, Lundra, uh, uh, Mega Man Neo. I don't know. Probably didn't come out. 
Nice. Oh man, I had to. I'm gonna take some time. I gotta look through some of this stuff, but that is fucking sweet. I didn't know they had a cover for this. I mean, I didn't really have PlayStation Magazine growing up. So. I'm gonna leave these ones off to the yeah. side just because it's got that with it. Mm -hmm. So I organize my magazines by uh, brand. Brand. Okay. So these are all PlayStation magazines. I'm gonna show first. I, I got, got I got one PlayStation magazine. I think FF8. That looks like Star Wars, kind of. It does a yeah. lot. I think they took inspiration. That's cool. I got FF10. Oh, let me see that. Let's see that. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. Look at that art style. That's cool. It's a different art style. Yeah. And only new shot. There you go. Hell yeah. Uh, I, I got a bunch of these magazines from this dude, David, I met online. That was pretty cool. He's, uh, he's opened up a store called Game Addict in Yorkville, Illinois. Mm -hmm. It's like 40 miles from Chicago. But he gave me a good-ass price. I, he sent me like, I think it was like 7 to 10 magazines. Okay. But most of these magazines I got... Only a couple dollars each, or like, hey man, just pay for shipping. Oh, just to pay for yeah. shipping? Okay. That's so, a, he's a good guy. Then. I, I actually like have it. more coming. Uh, like one of the dudes from the podcast, that Metal Gamers podcast, mm -hmm. uh, Kyle is sending me some. Oh man, you looking so, for it. You looking yeah. for these magazines. <laughs> I got, so we're still on PlayStation Magazine. This one says, the year of the role-playing game, 13 new RPGs. In-depth preview of Final Fantasy VIII. And it's got oh, it's got FF8, Legend of Lagaya, Lunar Silver Star Story, and Star Ocean on the cover. That was that's that's the glory years. I mean, oh yeah, I bet you Fuck. can go back to that. I wish. <laughs> that's like that was like the most popular genre. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts two. Oh nice. Let me see that cover. Nothing special really. Hey man, I like the Kingdom Hearts uh, art style. Me too. Tetsuya Nomura's actually got a really cool art style. Mm -hmm. Speaking of him, uh oh, put your dick away because Parasite <laughs> Eve's on the cover of this one. Oh. Which which one is that? Oh, that's so fucking sweet. I gotta get some more. September nineteen ninety eight. Oh wait, you better not have no Metal Gear Solid ones in there. I'm gonna have to be very. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. You do. I know you do. You got something or oh, Resident Evil. Go ahead. Got the Final Fantasy thirteen, PlayStation magazine. Oh the, damn! They went all the way to the. Is it still going? I don't think it still goes. Right? I don't know. No. They don't really sell magazines like that anymore. No. So now I'm on, I'm going to switch over to Nintendo Powers. The first one is got Tales, uh, Tales of Symphonia on the front. Oh, it's, ooh, GameCube. It's, got, it's got this Wonka <laughs> fucking candy ad on there. That's cool art style. Yeah. Nintendo Powers, man. People love those. Crystal Chronicles. Crystal Chron Oh, some more GameCube stuff. Okay. You, you might as well right. just expect it to all be Square Enix stuff. Oh, yeah, of course. I know that's what you're looking for. Final Fantasy Tactics Advance <laughs> and Kim Possible. Kim Possible. That's my show back in the day. This one... Is old. Old. Mario RPG. Oh. Damn, son. Look how Where'd thick you find that one? And this is a mag this is like a fucking strategy guy over here. Look at yeah. that. I like that. Show the Super Nintendo. That's the nice. Fucking glory days, man. Look at that. Damn. Look how much fucking cooler shit was back then, man. <clears throat> they tried. They really tried. Yeah, they. You mean they actually tried? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's it for Nintendo Powers. Now I'm gonna switch over to Game Pros. The first Game Pro I'm gonna show you has uh, Metal Gear Solid on the front. <laughs> it also has Final Fantasy VIII, Xeno Gears, uh, Soul Calibur, Rival Schools. You like some of those games, right? <laughs> This one is thick as fuck. Ooh, oh, yeah. Game pros are <laughs> usually thick. Damn, look at that fucking art. I love it. I love it. Damn. Dude, nuke them in the back. Fuck, man. It feels a little sticky, but yeah. I'll probably be jerking off to it, too. The new magazines <laughs> are like a fifth of that thickness. Yeah, that's cool. So, you know, you like Metal Gear, but I like Final Fantasy VII. Oh, I got the Final Fantasy VII Look one. Look at this fucking art on the front of that. Nice. Oh, it's... and he have the in the plastic. I looked through it. That's nice. But that one's also thick. Game throws are thick. Look at, look at this this ad. This like has like a him injured. Nineties ads, man. I love it. That's fucking sweet though. Fuck yeah. Damn. You know I love magazines, so we, I can stay here all day and look at magazines. <laughs> so let's get to it. This one's from the N64 era. It's the Super Smash Brothers one. Let me see. Oh, you got the Super Smash. Look at that. Look how shitty. Damn. It's, it's cool. Look at Pikachu. Look but... at, I love it. It's Pikachu! It looks so like fucking like some kid did it. 
<laughs> they they took like two minutes to do it. Yeah, you're gonna definitely have to show some pictures of these. Yeah, I'll do some close. I didn't look through all of them yet. We'll keep that's that. cool though. I want that one. These are so thick, bro. Final Fantasy <laughs> Nine. Holy thick. shit. Yeah, they thick, the, thick with two game, C's. Game oh, Pro shit. was always the thickest. Time Splitters. The first one, Dino Crisis 2, Capcom nice. vs. SNK. It's fucking, uh, what does that it's, say? Majora's it's a, Mask. It's a time castle to that year, the Do, years of DOA the DOA 2. You know what else I've seen in a lot of these magazines? Because I looked through at least 10 to 15 of them. But, was uh, a lot of Tobal number 2 ads, which never came out here. It only oh, came out was, in Japan. It was Tobal number 2 ads? Yeah. Wow. Why didn't they release it, though? That's so know. strange. Oh. I didn't even know it was a yeah, thing. Yeah. I, the first one didn't do that good, mm -hmm. and the Dragon Ball explosion didn't happen yet because oh, akira yeah. toriyama did the art style for it mm -hmm. but uh moving on i got sonic adventure 2 nice you know we got... i think i had that magazine actually i don't have any more though i got final fantasy 10 again oh with a virtual oh, fighter 4 i'm gonna need that one i'm gonna <laughs> need that one what else we got in here jade cocoon 2 return to castle wolfenstein halo halo there you go expert strategy guys for ff10 and halo this one, it's, oh, that's it for Game Pros. You sure? Yep. I'm moving on to Game Informers. <laughs> the first, these five right here, I oh, got yeah. from Jeremy. Me. I had, this is doubles I had. Yep. So, Dragon Age 2, Tomb Raider. The reboot. Resistance, Resistance 3. Resistance 3. And this, what did you say this one was? This is the best characters of the 2000s. So, it's the same magazine, but with two different covers. Yeah, it has all the best characters. Oh, I didn't even look at the back of oh, the other it, one. Oh, it has back to it, yeah. So, it's cool. It's cool uh, art. Yeah. And this one specifically is the Final Fantasy Companion Game Informer. It so, talks about like all the Final Fantasies up to eight. I didn't know they did that. They did that back in the day? Yeah, feel it. This one actually feels like a strategy guide, too. Yeah, it looks like Oh, that's sweet. <clears throat> Damn. Give some history on Squaresoft. and. I didn't know they did this. That's cool. I didn't I either didn't... until I found it. <laughs> and it was like the special edition ones. That's cool. Okay, so here's the one we were talking about, right? I got this one from Chad with uh, StarCraft Ghost on the front of it that never came out. Yeah. But at the bottom down here, it says Star Ocean 3, Enix's answer to Final Fantasy. But uh, by the time Star Ocean 3 came out, it's just called Star Ocean Till the End of Time, and it's Square Enix. So they already merged by the time it came out. <laughs> but so that are, they already had to be in the makings of merging. Anyways. Oh, yeah. The, I don't, they so just I don't didn't know why. Know. They're just keeping. Oh, the game of yeah. the game informer didn't know. Yeah. It. So I had this one as a kid. I'm so fucking happy to get it back. It was in that box. Mm -hmm. The Halo Two game informer. Nice. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Look, See, that's, that, that's that's nice art too. Seeing this again, man, was like nostalgia yeah, it, fucking overload, away. man. Yep. Nostalgia fucking overload. Gotta keep it, man. Gotta keep it. And I got here's the Final Fantasy 15 game informer. The artwork on it's really cool. Yeah, that so those are like paper thin now. Oh yeah, like the newer ones. Resident Evil 4. Oh uh, yeah, I have that. Oh, that that mine is ripped though. But I had that one. This mine cool. ain't ripped. And also Resident this Evil. shitty game. Resident Outbreak. Evil what? Outbreak. Outbreak. I never really played it. This is like an online focus one. Halo Reach. Halo Reach. Halo 3 Recon, which oh, you got all the which Halos. Is ODST. Mm -hmm. Oh, Recon, is that what it was? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Halo f I'm 4, I'm I pretty think. sure. Yeah, 4. Look at those big titties on Cortana. It's not like the the, then, yeah, the ugly like... PC one that's going to be in the live action. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that that's it for Game Informers. I still got a couple more brands. I'm at Tips and Tricks now. Damn. Do you have any of those growing up? Oh, yeah, yeah. I have a couple, actually. I have a Ratchet & Clank one. Did you have the Final Fantasy X2 one? No, I did not. Another Resident Ooh, Evil Outbreak. Outbreak. Again. I like that art is so fucking sweet on there. Yeah. And then Silent Hill 3. Oh, fuck you. Damn. And the reason I wanted this one. I probably I could probably get these. I don't know why I'm thinking like it's so hard <laughs> to get this. I probably it's probably not expensive, right? Uh depends on who you find. Some people want like twenty dollars a magazine oh, and shit. Man. Yeah, right. But this says New monthly column for Final Fantasy. So starting here, I guess every month they had a column for Final Fantasy in the back. Damn, Final and Fantasy, man. They this, were all up on this day. Also has a Dino Crisis 3 ad on the back. Nice. Capcom is... Oh, I mean, that's Konami right there. I forgot. So that's it for tips and tricks. You ever heard of Gamer Magazine, GMR? GMR? No. Yeah, I got what two of them. I don't know. This one's got Fable on the front and Dead or Alive Ultimate, the first one. Is, what is that? We said Dead or Alive? 
Yeah. Oh, okay. And then this, so like two thousands. This other one has Kingdom Hearts. I think it's. Oh, that's a cool art. Oh, uh, it says two July two thousand four. So this had to be prepping for uh, Kingdom Hearts two. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's re- cool art. Really though. cool art, and the, the magazine itself feels a little higher, like high quality. Oh yeah, it does. Compared, yeah. You see that front mission four uh, ad in the front? You just passed up. Front mission four. Yep. Keep going. Keep going right there. Oh yeah. That. Front mission. Foe. Foe. So I think my next ones are the last, uh, the last magazine, and it's the Electronic Gaming Monthly. Yeah, I have a, I have a whole bunch of those. I have a whole <laughs> so, bunch. I was so confused what you were doing. I was like, <laughs> can you guess what's on the cover of this one? Uh, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy <laughs> X2, <laughs> and it's as thick as the Bible. Oh, that boy, thick. Mm. What's up, baby? Um, You're gonna really like this next one ooh. I pull out. What's, I'm about to pull us up the house. I don't even what know what the fuck is. is that? What the fuck is this? I have no idea. What oh, Champions of Norath. Oh, I knew it the second I seen the girl, the elf girl. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I don't wanna bend it. Yeah, you're gonna. I don't wanna look. Too, look I don't wanna mess it up. Go ahead. You're gonna love the cover of this next one. It's. It says SquareSoft coming to America. Coming to America. Coming. Who do you think's on the cover? Well, SquareSoft coming to. It's, okay, it's a girl. Yep. That's Tifa. No. Oh, wait, Square Soft comes to America? I don't know. Oh, wait, I've seen that before. I, f- oh. <laughs> I didn't know what, because... This, this one was sweet. Look at it, it's got Musashi. Fuck. It's got Xenogears. It's 98. I don't know who the hell, that's Saga Frontier, I think. Yep, July 98. Yep, that's, that's one of those the biggest. This was a dope ass, <clears throat> this one of the ones I looked through, this one was fucking sweet. Yep. I want that one, thank you, I appreciate it. You're, I appreciate if, you giving me that. If you want that one... You're really gonna fucking want this one. Metal Gear Solid or Resident, Resident Evil, Evil Two. Re- the, yeah, yeah, Resident <laughs> Evil Two. You know what? I was looking up like, oh, what's the Resident Evil magazines and all Look that. I've this. seen all of this and I wanted it. Now you have all. Of Zombies them. ate my PlayStation. <laughs> Zombie ate my PlayStation. I didn't look through this one yet, but oh, there we go. The, the crash. Look at that. Old, those old crash ads are funny. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. All right. And is it, Fuck you, is it one go more? Ahead. Nope, got any more? Yep, there's two more. You, we, we haven't even gotten to the games yet. Nope. Oh, it's number 69. I didn't 69, even notice that. Yet. I just got this nice. one because it, it had uh, it said Chrono Trigger on the front. That's some sweet-ass it, it, art. It's from oh, April 1995. That is so fucking sweet. And it's Mortal Kombat 3 and Street Fighter Legends on the cover. And the Punisher game. That's Punisher a great on the game. Uh, that's a beat-em-up that you will actually love. It's made by Capcom. Really? Yep. And that came out on Sega? Yep. It's a great, it's a great beat 'em up. It it's looks one sweet. The, it's one of their best. You know why it's not released? Because it's the Punisher Marvel. Oh they yeah. They can't really release it. So the last magazine At, I got assholes has Final Fantasy VII Advent Children on the front. Oh, I was like, what is that? Is it the remake? <laughs> Advent, oh, is it the movie? Oh shit! Oh, don't, and Legend don't of K it. on the back, but it's uh, it's got, it talks about Advent Children before Crisis, Crisis Core, and Dirge of Cerberus. Well, how, do you like that movie? Yes, okay. I bu- I bought. I bought it physically when it really actually no I have it physically on Blu-ray and I bought it again when the 4K Blu-ray came out. Mm. All right, so Ugh, hour that, later. That's it for the library. We're gonna clear off the <laughs> <You> table. <laughs> See you in a second. All right, so now the table's cleared off again. We'll finally, finally, finally move on to the games. Finally. Yeah. Finally, let's do it, man. I'm ready. So let's go. I got that Genesis pack yesterday. It came mm-hmm. with a bunch of games. The only game I kept out of it, Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead. It's not even that good of a game. I just had it's got nostalgic. I mean, Beavis and Butthead's yeah. fucking hilarious. Yeah, I love it. Damn. Straight up nineties. I got this. I think what was it? Fuck, you were there with me. I two, was there. Two dollars or some shit. I would have hundred percent bought that. It's for the Xbox, I but don't care, but that is sweet. Though. It's a clean ass steel book. And I love Deus Ex. Yeah. Do sex. Do sex, monkey. <laughs> Shout out to Eric. I got Dead or Alive Five. Dead or Alive Five. It was like fucking six bucks. I oh, got, so that was his copy? No, but I, he likes the series. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you, I thought you got it from so, him. Okay. I got one through five now. Yeah. Um, Perfect Dark Zero, and it's a clean ass steel book. So, have you played that? Is it, it really as, is, is it really as bad as people yes. say? Damn. But again, it was a dollar ninety nine. Yeah, I would definitely bought that. I'm actually looking for that one. I don't even have that game yet. I got some Wii games. Can you believe it? Wii. Yeah, can you Playing believe it? Wii, one more... Oh, I, ah. I seen... I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> you just gotta get every fucking game from this company. 
<laughs> if this is no Crystal, matter what. If this is Final Fantasy Chronicles Echoes of Time, do you know what the other one is? Echoes of Time, well, the Crystal Bears, whatever it's called. It's Final Fantasy Chronicles The Crystal Bears. Yeah, yeah. So I got both <laughs> Crystal Chronicles games. Is that all the Square Enix games on there? On Wii, no, there's Chocobo's Dungeon. Do you yeah. have that? No. That. Yet. See you. In, see you in the next dimension. <laughs> March. <laughs> this was six bucks that I'm about to show you, or seven bucks on the Wii. No, on the 360. I don't know how the Wii games got stacked on top of it. All right, go ahead. I don't know. The 13-2 Collector's Edition. That was seven bucks at this replay. Yes, complete and it's clean. Well, y'all, yeah, really don't want to make money. That's so strange. You know, you know what it is. They scanned it in as re regular 13-2. Yeah, they don't care. That's cool though. Yeah. Don't you have that version? Oh no, you have a Final Fantasy X on PS3 like that. Yeah, like this. Yeah, but this is—I think this is cooler. Yeah. I'll show. I'll show. I'll yeah. show a close-up of this. Yeah. Damn, you get all the Screen Enix. You gonna be the Screen Enix collector, man? Or second? I already am, bro. I mean, but like, you gonna be known around the world? <laughs> yeah, that's. You mean you could make that your niche? It already kind of is. I'm, yeah. I mean, but you can make like videos on it. So this, these next two are gonna be kind of weird because mm -hmm. I don't usually collect for the system, but. Uh, one of them I played a lot of back in the day on the Xbox, and the other one I just love the box. So, uh, these boxes Come on, man. these boxes were in the garbage at Chad's, <laughs> Morrowind. The games were in the both of these, oh, was too. It he told, so he just threw away the games? Yep. Damn, so, man. So, Morrowind, and you know, they on PC games, they, they open up. We're going to talk about the next one. We're going to talk in private. So, the only thing that's in this Silent Hill 3 box Bro. are all four discs. The manual and stuff wasn't in there for this one, mm -hmm. but I got all the game discs. All right, man. Let, we'll talk. Look you, how cool. You, you look don't how want much, that. Look how cool these boxes are. You don't want that. Right off the garbage. <laughs> he said right off the Thanks, Chad. You don't really want this, you're, right? You're the homie, Chad. Yeah, you're the homie, man. You don't really want this. I want that. Bro, why do you like the stuff I like, man? Stop it. Why do you like it? I want it. <laughs> you actually got me into horror games more. Oh, fuck. I hate you. Wow, why did I do that? I hate you. You're supposed to not want it. Let's move on to your favorite system. Uh, oh, what is my favorite? PS3. Oh, oh PS3? It's yep. one of my favorites. I want to so, say it's my favorite. I've been looking for this game for a while. Uh, well, obviously it's an RPG. Right? No. I've asked you to help me find it when we were at all oh, those stores. Oh, Sly Cooper Collection. The Sly Cooper Collection. Finally. Finally got it. I, it was on, I, I, I found it for 20 bucks. That's a good deal for it. Yeah, because it's like worth like 50 bucks. It's going to keep on going from there. Yeah. Because that's the only way you can play the HD versions. Yep. I got another collection. Zone of the Enders collection. I still need to get that. I, I want to get it. I want to get the collector's edition. It's so fucking sweet. It's one of my favorites. And this next game. I might actually get that next This time. replay. What the fuck were you doing selling this game for $13? Oh. Tales. It's loose. It's a fake cover. But Tales of Zillia 2. <laughs> that's one of the most expensive ones. It's like fucking... A sixty seventy dollar game, I think, just for the disc. Yeah, it's at least fifty dollars just for the disc. I got it on the day it released. I actually have a video. You have the statue of that one, right? Or no, the I have the one? original. I okay. actually did a video back then of uh, unboxing it. I, was, I named it uh, "Yay!" This the uh, Tales of Zillia Two, no manual edition. And that's when they started <laughs> doing no manuals. Oh. Was, it was just me complaining in the video that they don't yeah. have a manual. But it's a good game though. I like the first one more though. I got. One PS1 game. What the fuck is that? It's made by Crave Entertainment. It's a turn-based RPG called Shadow Madness. What? I don't know. <laughs> Have I seen this? Oh, this looks... This looks average. <laughs> it's a turn-based RPG, and I like those. Yeah. I mean, it's still... And it had the demo in it, too. Jade Cocoon demo. Oh, cool. That's cool. What is this? Crave? Yeah. Who makes this? Crave and... Uh, ain't that who made Vandal Hearts? I don't remember. I don't see how I remember. I guess technically I got something else for PS1. I wasn't going to show it off, but fuck it. I got the the demo that came in um, Vagrant Story. Mm -hmm. I got you. So, but I've seen it for five bucks. So normally I wouldn't buy stuff like that unless it's cheap. Yeah. Onimusha 3. Oh, yeah. Is that the real? Yeah. I, I heard that too. I heard this one was like sweet because it's not uh tank controls it's more of an action game yeah it, it became more action so you probably it, like that more. it sounds more up my alley mm -hmm. tank controls are great i bought this first before i got that collection or else i wouldn't have oh bought yeah it. you did i wouldn't have bought it uh -huh. but i got of, I still, the enders one i still have one and two on the ps2 i gotta upgrade to the 
I had so, so now I have one on PS2, the collection on PS3, and the PS4. Oh yeah, the PS4 one. I forgot about that. It's only number two though. Yeah, that's weird. Why don't they just release two of them? I have no idea. <laughs> Arc the Lad, End of Darkness. So I've I've heard mixed things about that. I can't remember which one people said was bad. This one or the other it's one. One of them. Yeah, I have them both now. Was it cheap? Yeah, it was. Uh, I think it was five bucks. Yeah. That's a GameStop. That's sticker, a GameStop. <laughs> but I, I think it was the same. Oh, same price. Yeah, because they're both cheap. And then you got the PS1 Art the Lad. It's like two hundred dollars. I don't have that yet. Good luck with that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen this? What is it? Is it bouncing around in there? No. The so, fuck so is I, that? I got this from Game Pawn. What other games does that company make that you know of? Oh, Harvest Moon. Yeah. Natsume. Innocent Life, a futuristic Harvest Moon. Shut up. Have you ever heard of that? No. I got it at Game Pawn when I went back. I'm actually really surprised. I usually I thought I knew all the PS2 games. I don't know what that is. I and heard of it. I'm I sure. mean, it does. It looks like a futuristic Harvest Moon, and it was. Is it wait? Is it RPG or is it it's basically Moon. just yeah. basically Harvest Moon? Okay. They were selling it for what I half the price of what it was worth. Hmm. I drove all that way to Game Pawn. I wanted to buy something. This is like a shock because I did not know this game existed. Yeah. At all. So that's cool though. I mean, you like Harvest Moon games, right? Yeah. I want to try them out. I don't know which one to play. I, I really like the Super Nintendo one, but which one? I think it was the N64 one that everybody liked, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it came on the yeah. N64, but I never played it. So. so these next two games are either action games or action RPGs, maybe. I think they're only published by Square Enix, mm -hmm. but they look really fun, and it's both of the Full Metal games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just talking about that with uh, Andrew. He said he had those, really? uh, but he said they were just all right. They look really cool. But I, I love the anime, so I would definitely play those just because of that. It has Square Enix on it, so... <laughs> you gotta get... <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know it was, it was published by <laughs> Square Enix. I'm like, I'm like that with Capcom, but Capcom games, like especially on the PS1, are super fucking expensive. Yeah. Like, just almost... All uh, basically the same thing as like Square Enix, but yeah. I think they're actually more affordable. Square Enix games. Some of them. Yeah, because yeah. Square there's no Square Enix games on like... Um, what's the game... It's, it came out... Like, it plays just like Mega Man Legends. It's a girl. Oh, Tron Bond? Tron Bond. That's like 500 Yeah, games. there's no Squaresoft games yeah, like that. Yeah, that's why I, I just can't do it, man. Yeah. And, and like some of the games are not like that good. They're, they're better on the Saturn. Yeah. Like the fighting games. Yep. So. Um, I wish. Per Persona oh. 3. That is my friend Adrian's favorite uh, RPG, I think. His favorite game. It's complete. That's a cool disc. Hey man, Persona games are good. I think you like. Oh. You ever played it? Uh huh. You should. Play oh, I played it. Persona Five. I didn't. You didn't like super it. Super care. I, I played the first dungeon. Mm hmm And uh, I don't know. I like the art style. The battle system was actually decent. You didn't like but the. Uh, why was the tutorial like seven hours long? Bro, the the game is like a hundred and <laughs> hundred hours long, man. It's a, it's a fucking it's the, a long ass game. The slice of life thing throws me off, and the whole high school thing. I'm starting to get to the point where I'm old. Yeah, it, we're, we're pretty the, old now. The high school stuff just yeah. doesn't click with me no more. Oh, I understand that, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And then I got Sui Code and Tactics. Sui Code and Tactics. And it's got, it I got the soundtrack with it, too. Man, it I've been waiting, it. yeah, I've been waiting to get that. I just didn't, I passed on yeah. it. I didn't, so, I don't know anything about it. So, I'm pissed about this, right? I seen it at Game Pong when I was there. I almost said, fuck it, I'm gonna go back in and get it, right? Mm -hmm. And, um... I ended up saying, I seen an ad on eBay, and, because Amanda was already mad that I was in there for too long, you know how girls are, she should have just came to the store with me, <laughs> but, uh, I bought Baroque for, for oh, it's an okay. Atlas game, it's like an action RPG, kind of horror-ish, mm -hmm. and, um, I got that. they had it complete in there for 50 bucks, and this was 50 bucks, and it's fucking disc only, Oh, son it's of not bitch. the real cover either. Some of a fucking bitch. It said it on the eBay ad, but I didn't read enough before I left. Yep, so you gotta read it. The fine yeah. print, man. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I have that. It's, uh... You know about it? Not about really. It, it, I looked it, up videos. It looked fun. It's it's super difficult. It's um kind of like Returnal, uh, roguelike. Oh, really? Yeah. You gotta start back at the beginning, but it's fun. I yeah. like it. It's, almost, it's almost super like, weird. Almost like the Air Guys RPG part? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. I that, think it's that, much dip, more different. That's what it looked like to me. So I got Tales of Abyss and Ooh. Tales of Legendia. Oh, so you finally got Legendia? Yeah, it was fucking... Yeah. What did you pay for yours? I was like 20, something like that. Really? And you yeah. had you got the real case of yours. Yeah. I paid 20. 
mm-hmm. and it's uh, just disc only. Oh, wait, no, I, th- I know it was thirty. No, no, no I'm but it's worth like just the disc. I, I looked it up. It was like forty-five bucks. Really? For yeah. that? Oh, yeah. that's one of the cheaper ones. And then Tales of Abyss. That's supposed to be one of the best ones. Yep. I, so. I still need to get that. I kind of want to play like from not the beginning because the Fantasia I heard's good. The Fantasia one. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll play that. I want to play from the beginning. You can like, start from. You can download yeah. an, Eng- an English translated Super Nintendo ROM, or mm-hmm. you can play the Game Boy Advance version. Yeah, probably. I'll probably get a, a mod. Not a mod, but like the ROM. Yeah. And next, I got. You know how I like to get everything, right? Everything. I already, it's, I already um, had the other Shining Force game, yeah. <laughs> but I got Shining Force Exa and Neo. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I, I have one of those. Yeah, I have Neo. I mean, no, I have Shining Force. Yeah, Neo. Yeah, I don't have the Shining the extra... Tears is the other one. Yeah, Shining Tears. Yeah, I didn't. But, I didn't. I forgot they were still going in the PS2. They're yeah. all action RPGs. They're mm-hmm. still going. There's a PS4 game, Shining Resonance Reframe. There is. Yep. Oh, that is a Shining game. Yeah. Up there somewhere. It's all Shining. That's, that's yeah. they go by Shining. Okay. Yeah. It's very confusing. Very I sent confusing. you a picture of this game, but it was disc only. Mm-hmm. Nightshade. Oh, you got. Oh. Shinobi's fun, bro. And. Uh huh. I mean, I just got the case, but. Hey. Yeah. hey. I want to get that definitely one day. It's but. fucking dope. Those games mm-hmm. are hard. Yeah. I heard that game's not as hard. Bro, oh, really? Yeah. Not as hard as Shinobi. Shinobi was hard. I played that a lot as a kid. Mm-hmm. After the first level, yeah. After but. last month, you should have knew I was getting this game. You, I bought a game, right? And you said, you have Maul, right? Is there any more in this series? And I was like, yeah, there's this one. I forget, man. I forget. Grandia oh. Extreme. <laughs> Damn. My brother had that as a so, kid growing up. You know, I didn't get that many. I got what? A, I got a couple more games, but it look, looks like in good, good condition, man. Yeah, I didn't cool. get that many games, but the games I got, I feel, were pretty quality. This oh time. yeah, they're great. It's not about the quantity; it's yeah. the quality. All right, so last PS2 game, Growl Answer oh. Generations. Oh man, I don't got the collector's edition like the other Growl Answer, but I had that. And then I it's sold not it. fucking cool, though. Yeah. I, I'm so mad I sold it, too. I had the manual and everything. I should have sold it. It's the, yeah, working designs. Yep. Beautiful. So, I got... It's a good game, too. Uh, two Dreamcast games left, and that's it. Oh, Dreamcast. Yeah. I see you collecting for Dream... Oh, crazy... I'm sorry. Go ahead. Crazy... T- you can say it. Crazy... <laughs> crazy Taxi. <laughs> I want to steal your so. shine, man. I love Crazy Taxi. It's a lot of fun. The soundtrack... It's, it's like a must-have for your Dreamcast. Yeah. And the last game. Uh, Power Stone 2. Thank you. Move on with the next one. Because I know it's, I know it's going to be fucking Power, Power Stone, Stone 2. <laughs> Hold on a second. How'd you get that? Where'd you get that from? Facebook sir? groups. Facebook groups. And how much you paid for it? Uh, Arm and a leg? 65. Six, oh, that's a good price. Okay. Yeah. I told myself I wouldn't buy it unless I found it for less than 80 bucks. Yeah. Give me that bullshit, man. Power Stone 2. One of the classics on the Dreamcast. And got See, it. this is how Dissidia should have played. Yeah. It would have been a lot better. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I like I, both of the Power Stones I love. That's more, uh, it has four players. The first one is only uh, two, one against one. Yeah. But, so, that's it. Oh, that's, all, that's all you got? That's it. That's it, man. I'm so used to, like, hour long. Look at that. You got the fucking Power Stone. I hate you. But that was... The pickups video for February, for February 2022. 2022. And uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tell us what you guys, what, what your favorite pickup is. What's your favorite pickup for this month? Um, for you. Shit. Honestly, probably the magazines. The mag- See, yeah. Uh, magazines, they're fucking dope. I forgot been, you had all that magazine. I've been having so much fun looking through those old magazines. I'm telling you, man, that's why I did it, man. I knew, I, I saw I saw the, the twinkle in your eyes, like oh my, when all I, when, the fucking when I was, great memories, When I was man. looking through that one that I gave you and then asked for back. Yeah, I was like, oh, come on, man. But no, I was, I, I took a pictures of all, like, the yeah. stuff that I really wanted to look at. It's fine, man. It was originally yours. I don't care, man. I mean, I could always come over here and yeah. look at it. But I look forward to looking through all that, what, like the ones I really wanted to see. Which is like all of them. Which is all of them, yes. But uh, yeah, um, I mean, of course, my favorite pickup is Elden Ring. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. Um, I'll, I'll, I'm going to have some new pickups next month. I got Stranger of Paradise pre-ordered. Oh, yeah. I got Triangle Strategy pre-ordered. And I might buy Babylon's Fall because I was kind of enjoying the demo. Oh, yeah, we should. I might have to look at that. 
Yeah, it's pretty fun. But uh, also, thank you for uh, Elden Ring giving me all those points in the fantasy draft. But we'll see later on. And also, I'll see you guys in the next dimension. We just recorded the pickups video in the basement, came upstairs, checked the mailbox, and I had a package in the mailbox. So, last thing for the thing. I already know what it is. You constantly getting stuff. Oh, actually, he threw something in for me. Cool. I got a Game Informer. It, this has like the top 100 RPGs of all time. Damn, when did that come out? Uh, recently. And it's dope. The oh, guy. nice. I was wondering why you didn't get that. And that's the is that the one you were waiting for? Yep. The whole time? That is so fucking sweet. That was, now that is a surprise. Yep. And we'll see you in the next motherfucking dimension.